All right, I'm gonna do a cold start from in my house. Right here I got my uh, 2020 uh, Silverado Trail Boss got about 900 miles on it um, so I was following this page on Facebook about um, uh, the, the Trail Boss and and a lot of the guys were doing the muffler deletes and I did a muffler delete on this got it in manual mode we had about 300 3,000 rpms Ooh, and broke them loose. The grounds are a little, a little wet. I think that 3,000 RPMs is where, where this thing makes all its horsepower. See, I was in manual mode, a second gear. Now, surprisingly, it sounds pretty good. I opened up the the rear window, put it back down to second gear. It's at about 3,000 RPMs. It breaks them loose. Yeah, other than the drone, it don't sound too bad. I did remove the uh, the flapper, the flapper valve. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking with the reasoning of these so quiet with the muffler delete. You know, these these newer trucks they got they're they're so restricted with the, with their um, exhaust system. You know, the the mid pipe kind of has a crushed, it is very restrictive. The Cadillac converters kind kind of make it pretty quiet. Um, I only got a, a three year, thirty six thousand mile warranty on it, so. You know, by the time that one that ward tees up, I think I'm gonna do some Cooks long tube headers and you know a three-inch mid pipe, maybe into some super 44s, you know, catless mids. But uh yeah, for the most part with this muffler, it don't sound half as bad. Uh, I probably won't keep it like that for, for very long. The drone kind of gets annoying. But uh, you know, other than that, I, th I think it sounds I think it sounds good, you know, for, for 50 bucks, just taking out that flapper valve and that and the muffler. Just putting a straight pipe, you know, you think it would be loud, raspy, and annoying, but uh, yeah, it's not the case with this. It actually, actually sounds sounds good. I get on a little bit. Highway speed. 